Four years ago, I was going through my treatment for cancer. I had surgery at the beginning of the year in 2013, and I had a prolonged time of chemotherapy, and uh, it was quite a horrendous journey. Just before I was diagnosed with cancer, I had been off ill. Because of the prescriptive nature of the procedures, it was only two weeks after my surgery that I was sent to the occupational nurse to find out why I wasn't back at work. Each time I had to go to see the occupational nurse, it was obvious I was still on chemotherapy and I uh, was still going through treatment. In addition to the appointments with the occupational nurse, there was the appointments with one of the managers, um, sickness monitoring. You know, when I said that I wanted to go back to work, I was told, well, we're the ones that will decide whether you'll come back to work or not. Uh, and I was told, oh, the systems have changed in the office and, you know, you wouldn't be able to keep up, you know, everybody else has been trained in these new systems. And I found that quite upsetting because um, it seemed to me that they didn't really want me to come back to work. I was told by the manager, if I was off sick in the year after I came back to work, they had the right to sack me. I thought it was such a, an awful time uh, that I had, and I didn't want anybody else to have to go through what I went through. So I felt that it really needed, the, the whole policy and procedures needed to be changed. Welcome to the TCAP Business Seminar on Cancer at Work. The project here in, in Ayrshire that's led by North Ayrshire Council is quite a unique project and really it's focused on employability which is a key part of supporting people going forward after they've had a cancer diagnosis. Three billion pounds. Macmillan did a, a huge fact-finding mission basically. When did cancer patients feel least supported? And it came out quite strongly that after their cancer treatment they felt almost as if they were on the edge of a cliff. The seminar is aimed at businesses and how they should support people with cancer. My role within the Chamber is to try and engage with local businesses. So uh, when we were invited along to this project, it was very key for us uh, to be part of that so that we've been able to uh, give an input um, and inform local businesses of the importance of cancer in the workplace. A good idea. Business owners that I've spoken to have, don't have, they have no knowledge of this at all. They didn't realise that this Equalities Act um, and, and what it entails for business owners. So I definitely think and I hope that it's something that they roll out because it has been uh, hugely successful and um, I do think that business owners gain a lot from attending the seminars. I think it's very beneficial for any business owner. It's important for employers to recognise that failure to make reasonable adjustments to support somebody in the workplace can result in that individual uh, suing their employer. So it's very much about having the conversation with the employee about what they can do uh, rather than necessarily what they can't do. I didn't actually know, my manager uh, who's along with me did know, but I didn't actually know that cancer was... Um classified as a, a disability in the Equality Act. Seminars, we've had some I was pleased to know that I come from an organisation that actually has implemented all the kind of the top tips through the personal experience that we had with a member of staff. I refer to it constantly. I learned a lot about what businesses should be doing but also looking at the patient side of it, what they need to do, because it needs to be everybody working together. But we certainly have an awareness that we have the literature there, we can signpost out, obviously, to the TCAT team and make sure that people are actually getting the information and advice that they need, the specialist information and advice that they need. I think very much that this has brought public and private sector together, which, you know, is still quite a task. We hope that the learning that comes from this project will be um, shared across the rest of the network as well as the rest of Scotland and perhaps even wider across the rest of the UK. I think the final thing I would want to say, if you don't allow people to manage their cancer diagnosis and their treatment at their pace and support them as best you can, all of the procedures and processes in the world can only take you so far. 
actually we relate on a human level and it's that human level that allows us to connect with one another and to help people through and that's the most important thing in this. I've spoken to another colleague who uh, has had cancer uh, not too long ago and she has come back to work and she said she didn't go through what I went through so <laughs> if it's working then that's it's worthwhile.